And now to the northeastern United States, America's fifth largest metropolis and the birthplace of the nation itself. Citizens of Philadelphia now have a Latter-day Saint temple to add to the storied history of their revered city, also known as the City of Brotherly Love. Its location on Vine Street, just north of downtown, is adjacent to another house of worship, Cathedral Basilica of Saints Peter and Paul, and less than two miles from Independence Hall, the historic location of the signing of the Declaration of Independence and the U.S. Constitution, which is depicted in a painting that graces the main lobby of the temple. Inside the temple, other historic references in painting also recall the early days of the church, like the baptism of the prophet Joseph Smith in the Susquehanna River in Harmony, Pennsylvania, which overlooks the temple's baptismal font during the period when Joseph translated the Book of Mormon. It's the first LDS temple built in Pennsylvania, and people were ready to celebrate in the traditional cultural event at the city's Leocora Center. Today, millions of people benefit from the protection of religious freedom. The following day, Henry B. Eyring of the First Presidency led three dedicatory sessions of the temple. But first, greeting all who came to witness the public ceremony of securing the cornerstone that morning. To me, this is uh, especially significant that the Lord would have granted this house to you wonderful people. Mm -hmm. 